We've already done the bottom at construction. We, we see the three surfaces. We're going to do the construction now where we see only the two surfaces. But what I've done here is I've already got the center lines. I've already done my calculation with the diameter and I've already put the thickness of the bolting. So we're only going to do the two surface construction. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to draw a circumscribed hexagon. That is now in this specific position. Note that it's not necessary if you do not need another, to draw another view to draw the full auxiliary view. You do not need to complete that part of the auxiliary view because the only lines that we are needing this one to show the outside of the construction or the inside or and the other side of the construction. Good. So we've already got our two surfaces. The only thing that we need now is to draw these two curves in to make use of the same set square by drawing a 30 degree line to the center line on both the views or the surfaces and we repeat that on the other side we repeat that on the other side that will give me a point there and it will give me a point there take my compass put it on that point and set it so that it forms a tangent to the top line and we draw that curve. And we repeat that. And we are finished with the constructions now just for the outside lines. You must note now that that line there goes right through to the top of the sketch. With the three surfaces we had a, a 30 degree line there. With the two surfaces it's not happening. This one goes up to that point, only up to there. But this outside line goes up right to the top right to the top and we complete the construction and that is the two service construction you can also note that if you get a dimension that indicate this flat area for you that flat area that in, uh, dimension will be indicated as AF and the, the, the dimension in an AF which over the flat area means the distance from there to there will be indicated as AF. Thank you very much.